In Pitaigo, it is characterized by erythematous lesions that are covered with a honey-colored crust. The lesions are usually asymptomatic, but they can cause itchiness. The lesions begin as macules and papules, but then quickly fill with fluid and rupture. Now a distinction is made between the three types of impetigo. In non bullous impetigo, there are small vesicles that quickly burst and are often not present upon evaluation. In bullous impetigo, there are large flaccid bullae. In both of these subtypes, the fluid-filled lesions rupture and result in a superficial erosion. In the third subtype, ichthyma, the lesions extend into the dermis, resulting in ulceration with violaceous borders. The lesions are highly contagious, and there is often a history of close contact with persons with similar lesions. As well, the lesions can be transmitted to other areas of the body. A clinical diagnosis can be made based on characteristic skin findings. Bacterial culture and sensitivity are indicated when there is an outbreak, MERS is suspected, or if the patient fails to respond to empiric therapy. For those with recalcitrant impetigo, a nasal culture should be performed to check for carriage of group A streptococcus and staphylococcus aureus. Topical antibiotics are equal to or more effective than oral antibiotics and are recommended for infections with a limited number of lesions. Although the condition is self-limited, treatment is recommended to prevent the progression of the illness and to prevent the spread of infection to other people. Disinfecting agents do not have proven efficacy and are not recommended. Indications for systemic antibiotics include ecthyma, which can lead to scarring, widespread infection, systemic involvement, and local outbreak. Children may return to school following 24 hours of antibiotic therapy. Postreptococcal glomerulonephritis is a potential complication of impetigo. It occurs when the pathogenic organism is a nephrotogenic strain of group A beta hemolytic streptococci. Unfortunately, it is not prevented by antibiotic therapy. I hope you found this lecture to be helpful and worth your time. Please feel free and very welcome to leave a comment or suggestion below. And if you like this video, please hit subscribe and check out some of the other videos in this channel.